The new design library from Quickly opens up a lot of possibilities for sharing content, not only with your co-workers, but also with the community at large. If you want to share your latest creation and let anybody use it as the basis for their next design, you can do that. So let's take a very quick look at how this all works so you can get started using it in double quick time. So let's take a look at it in action. I've created a blank page and we've got Quickly set up ready to go. If we come to the top left hand corner, we've got the Quickly Design Library button. We can click open that up and that will now show us the default library, which I standard is the sort of Quickly library, but you can set up your own defaults if you want to. And then things are broken down into various different subsections, things like all popular buttons, compositions and so on. Now, at the time of releasing this, it's relatively minimal what's available to us. But hopefully this is something that will grow as the user base and the community grow around Quickly itself. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can see at the moment, this is the library option. So if we click to open this up, you can see currently we have the Quickly library, which is our default, and the community, which we can also go ahead and access. And when we create our own custom libraries, we can have those listed inside here as well. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. So let's say we want to take a look at Popular. This is now going to show us a breakdown of all the different predefined design layouts. These could be things like hero sections, could be call to actions and so on. They could be right down to something as simple as a button style or something very, very simple. And it's very easy to use. Let's say, for example, we like the look of this very first one. We can simply go ahead, click. That will insert that into our design. And you can see that was pretty much instantaneous. And this is on a live connection through the internet. So there's nothing being pre-cached for me on my side of things. So it's very quick to work with. So once you've done that, if you look on the right hand side, you can see everything is broken down into the various different components and everything is there ready for us to start working. If you want to make changes, for example, you want to change the button, we can select the button, we can do what we want with it. We want to get rid of it, hit the trash can, click OK to confirm and boom, our button's gone. If we want to add something in, we can simply come back over, close this down and say we come into something as simple as a button. So we'll click this blue button, we'll select that one, we'll click to add that in. And you can see now, unfortunately, that's gone underneath, but that's no problem. We simply got to drag that up and position it exactly where we want in our design. And there we go. There's our button. So we can simply come in, select it, make changes now to the colors, all inside the standard quickly editor. Very, very simple to work with. Again, if we close this down, you can see we can come through, take a look at compositions. We can take a look at decorative. We've got interactive elements, a range of different options inside here. So things like an accordion. There's tons of options here for you to get started. If you want layouts, you can see there's currently nothing inside there. But again, like I say, hopefully this will grow and expand as we go through and it becomes more sort of used. We've also underneath got sections then for styles, classes, style sheets, and so on. Again, unfortunately, there's pretty much nothing inside you at this point in time. But like I say, hopefully this will all grow. So that's the basics of how you get started inserting a design from the predefined libraries. Let's go ahead now and take a look at how you create and manage your own design libraries. The first thing you need to do is head over to design.quickly.com and create an account for yourself. This is going to be separate to your standard Quickly account where you've got your license management and so on. This is dedicated to the design library on the cloud platform. So I've already done that. We're going to click to log in. And then this takes us into our dashboard, and this will show any of the libraries that we have created. So you could create this on a project, you could have a sort of catch-all, you can have multiple different libraries, you're not restricted to just one library. And then you can use those in any project you want to. So let's go ahead and create one. Let's create a library. We'll call this default, and we'll say create library. And we've now created our library. So inside here, we've got some options. We've got a public key, we've got a private key, and we've also got some options for editing, we've got access keys, we can download everything inside there as a zip file, or we can go ahead and trash it. So if you want to share this with basically anybody, you can just use a public key and you can let anybody have access to that. You've got a private key, which is more restrictive to you alone. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and create access keys. So you can create a new access key and you can create as many of these as you want to and then revoke them at any time. So you could easily set this up if you're outsourcing to a third party company. And once they finish the project, you can then go and revoke the access by simply going ahead, clicking to delete the key and they don't have access to it anymore. So it's a nice way of keeping management really, really simple all inside the one location. So once you've created your library, you can go ahead then and connect that up to any copy of Quickly you've got installed anywhere at all. Or if you want to give it to other people, you can do that. So all we need to do is head back over into Quickly itself. You can see we've got this option that says Add Library. We'll click to add the library, 
And you can see this now asks us for a key and it asks us, is this private? So all you need to do is go back into your account, grab either your public or your private key, depending upon how you want to set it up and then insert that into quickly. So for this example, let's just go ahead and just use the public key. I'll copy that from there. We'll head back over. We'll drop the key in. If you want to toggle this to be a private key, you simply click it. If it's not a private key, you just uncheck it. Simple as that. You can then go ahead and create and connect your library. So once that's been done, all we need to do then we can come over. You can see quickly library, our community as we saw before, and now our default library, the one we've just created. And if you want to set this as your default, you simply click the option to set as default. That now is your default library. And then everything you'll see inside here will come from that centralized library that's your specific library. If you want to trash it, simply hit the trash, simple as that. So we select the default library. Now, if we come over, you see, obviously, there's nothing at all inside here because we haven't got anything added in. So no matter which one of these we come into, there's nothing there to see. So now we've created our library. How do we go about actually sharing things to that library itself? Well, it's very simple. You come over and select exactly what you want. So if you want to grab this entire design layout, you can just set the section and everything inside it will be selected. And then all you do is come to the little pop out and you see we've got add to design library, this little cloud icon. We can click on that. That now asks us for a name and to categorize it and apply some tags and so on. So for example, we can say we'll call this hero section. What category do you want this to be in? We'll say this is a composition, but you can see again, there's a lot of different sections inside you. So we say that's composition because it's a composition of multiple parts. You can then go into specifics. So we'll say this is a hero section. We can apply tags if we want to. So we can say this is to do with architecture, for example. And if we want to set a style, we can set that to be dark. You'll see it also automatically creates its own featured image by taking a screenshot of that exact layer that you've got or the button or whatever it is. But you can, if you want to, click the plus and add your own custom ones in. You can do what you want there. So that's pretty cool. And then you can set things like your viewport width, whether you want to attach the global styles to it. Is this insertable? So in other words, can you insert this into other designs? And you're going to share this with the community. Really, really simple to do. Once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. You can just say save to library. Choose the library you want. In this case, it's our default library. And done. Simple as that. So now if we just delete this from here, so we'll just remove it. So we've got nothing at all on our page. So now we can go ahead and insert that into our page. So let's come back over to our design library. You can see default library is selected, but if you wanted to, you can come in and choose any of the libraries you want from there. And then we can come into all and it'll show inside there. You may need to refresh this if you haven't already, if it's not showing up. So just hit that little refresh button. But you see that's inside all, so it'll show all the templates. And if we come into, for example, the composition, we'll refresh and you can see it now shows up inside there. So like I say you may need to refresh it, but it's once it's done, it's kind of done. So that's how easy it is. Now I can simply go ahead, click to insert that in. We'll remove this pesky paragraph one more time. So you see there's the hero section now taken from our own custom design library. It really couldn't get much simpler. And as this grows and expands, you can have more and more designs and you can categorize them in any way you want. So managing your libraries is very, very simple and straightforward. You can go ahead, you can download all of this as a zip file if you want to. So you can download all your designs. And if you wanted to, you could delete this library from your account, but still have access to those files offline. So it's quite simple to work with. And as you can see, if you want to make changes to access keys, editing information, the title of this and so on, we can do all that inside you. It's very simple to work with. If you want to create another library? We can create another library. So we'll just call this library two. Create our library. There's our second library, and you can see there's our public keys and so on. If we want to regenerate these for any reason, you can just simply hit the regenerate, and you can see, boom, there you go. Simple as that. So hopefully what you can see from this is it's a very simple way of being able to organize and share and collaborate potentially on different designs and projects with anybody. You can share them with a the community. You can use them inside your own company, or you can just use this as a simple repository for your own designs just for yourself. And that's how easy it is to get started using the design library inside quickly. Hopefully you found this useful. All the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.